Hello, my name is Omar Cruz. I am uh, Director of Education and Clinical Herbs for Himalaya Drug Company in Bangalore, India and Houston, Texas. Today we're going to talk about liver care. Liver care is one of the oldest formulas that Himalaya Company has. Now, keep in mind, Himalaya has been around for over 85 years and we're actually sold in 92 different countries. Uh, liver care was formulated after Live 52. And Live 52 was first formulated and dispensed in 1955, which means this formula has been around for over 50 years. In fact, it's been subject to over 200 different clinical trials. And we've studied it from a variety of needs in terms from a hepatic consideration, from a nutrient capacity, it's even from an immunological capacity. It has a tremendous amount of volume in terms of popularity. In fact, back about five years ago, the BBC did an anniversary show on Himalaya Drug Company. And according to their audits, that one product is either sold or prescribed somewhere on the planet every eighth of a second. So that tells you how much volume of this, this one formula uh, created. When we do clinical trials on this particular formula, we often include much of the history of what I just mentioned, about it being around for over 50 years, about it having such a tremendous amount of uh, catalog of, of clinical science. However, we have yet to understand the mechanism of its action. You see, we're based on Ayurveda, the 5,000-year-old system of India, and although it gave us a great understanding of what plants to marry with one another, they gave us a great understanding of how to avoid side effects. They even gave us a great understanding of how to recognize when you can hit a capacity of overdosing a specific medication. They didn't necessarily give us advice on how to explain these formulas in terms of their mechanism of action within the body. All we've been able to tell in all of our clinical trials is they tend to keep the hepatocyte, and the hepatocyte is the workhorse of the liver, they tend to keep it alive longer and for greater durations of time regardless of the amount of pressure or stress or injury that might be occurring in the blood. The importance of this formulation truly can't be overstated. You see, the, the liver performs over 500 jobs. Uh, and a lot of people tend to kind of roll their eyes about that, but if you've ever taken a course on biochemistry, about 75% of the class time is spent on just what happens in the liver. You see, the liver is what converts beta carotene to vitamin A. It's what makes vitamin K bioavailable. It's what makes all the vitamin D that you take in a pill form convert into the blood hormone that you know as vitamin D. In fact, it stores a tremendous amount of nutrients. It's what makes B12, one of the vitamins you won't be deficient in if you're a vegan, for up to two years. So its role in terms of blood nutrients and as a long-term uh, storage unit for nutrients truly can't be underestimated. And all of the work of the liver is being performed by these hepatocytes. Now, these hepatocytes work through enzyme systems. And normally the enzymes live and their entire life actually within these cell wall. And that's primarily what liver care has been clinically stoned to do, is preserve the liver enzymes so that they stay within the cell and not escape the cell where they will be ineffective for any and all of those 500 functions. Now, we've studied liver care for a tremendous catalog of, of support for the liver, but most recently we studied it in a very exciting new direction, which is protein anabolism, or to promote anti-aging out of the liver. So let me explain this for a second. All of the protein that you consume is broken down into amino acids. The digestive acids of the stomach will break apart the peptides of protein and release amino acids into the gastrointestinal tract. From there, they leak into the hepatointerocirculatory tract and go directly into the liver where they form the amino acid pool in the liver. It's actually the liver's wisdom that will start reanimating those amino acids to create human proteins. And from that moment, those human proteins can go to form albumin, they can form the base molecules for hormones, they can produce a number of proteins that repair tissues in the body. So the liver plays a vital role in moving proteins from a dietary source into a human protein source. Recently, we completed a clinical trial where we took patients, 60 of them, divided into a placebo group and an active liver care group, and we actually retained their waste material to find out whether or not they were creating proteins or losing proteins. And by and large, in every test we did, both on urea, 
on free nitrogen as well as nitrogen within the fecal matter, each of the people in the liver care group showed retention of protein by being on the liver care one capsule twice a day, just like what's on the label. What this means is the liver was able to produce uh, more collagen, more immune cells, more tissues to replace you know, organs that are normally gonna be running through their lifespan. This means that the liver is now welcomed into the family of anti-aging directions for the body.